Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Prey. Now Prey is directed by Dan Trachenberg, screenplay by Patrick Asen, based on characters by Jim Thompson and John Thomas, uh, sorry, Jim Thomas and John Thomas, produced by John Davis, Marty P. Ewing, uh, John Fox and Jahan Myers, Myers. Uh, cinematography from Jeff Cutter, edited by Claudia Costello, music by Sarah Schneer. Shahania Production Companies from 20th Century Studios and Davis Entertainment, distributed by Hulu in the United States and Star slash Disney Plus because it's on the same streaming service uh, internationally and in New Zealand. Release date 21st of July 2022 at, at the San Diego Comic Con and the 5th of August 2022 uh, worldwide. The rating of this movie in New Zealand it's an R13, in the US it's rated R. The genre of this movie is an action, science fiction, thriller, and a drama. Now to the plot. On the Great Plains in nine and sorry, in 1719, Naru, a fierce and highly skilled uh Comanche probably just that out, a warrior sets out to protect her people when an unknown danger threatens them, but the prey she's stalking, uh, stalking turns out to be a highly involved alien predator uh, with, a, with a technicality. I don't say the word. Anyway. Um, and the mine hunter is Naru, a young Comanche warrior who protects her tribe against a predator so from mispronouncing these, Dakota Beavers as Tabby, uh, Naru's brother and a skilled hunter, Dane Deliro, the predator, this individual is shown to wield uh, primitive uh, versions of the advanced weaponry used by predators in previous films. Stormy Kip is Wasab, a Comanche hunter that looks down on Naru. Michelle Thrush is a Kur Aruka. At Naru and Tabi's mother. A Julian Black Antelope is Chief Ketu. And Bennett Taylor is Raphael. And Donley, a translator. Production. Let me just. Okay. The film began development during the production on. Uh, of the prior Predator films, titled The Predator, the Predator 2018, when producer John Davis was approached by Dan Trachenberg and screenwriter Patrick Asen with concept that had been uh, conceptualising since 2016. Former 20th Century Studios production president Emma Watts fast-tracked the development of the film prior to her uh, resignation in January 2020. It was conceived in an R-rated film in December 2019. The film was initially under wraps, going for the name of Skulls. The film reportedly was going to follow a Comanche woman who goes under gender norms and traditions to become a warrior. It was going to be directed by Trachenberg and written by Asen. In November 2020, Skulls was revealed to be a codename for the fifth installment in the Predator franchise with the same creative team working on the film. It was not expected to correlate to the events of the prior installment. Upon the announcement, Trachenberg indicated that the original intention was to market the film with no reference to the Predators, something no longer possible with the confirmation of the film's place in the franchise. Reception On the review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes, 92% of 158 critics Reviews are positive, with an average rating of a 7.7 .7 out of 10. The website's consensus reads, The rare action thriller that spikes adrenaline without skimping over character development. Prey is a predator sequel done right. Metacritic reduces a weighted average, assigned the film score a 70 out of 100, based on 32 critics, indicating generally favourable, uh, generally favourable reviews. Uh, it is currently the highest rated Predator film on both websites. David Fear on Rolling Stones referred to the film as a long-awaited masterpiece. It is a series highlight, 
His situation group succeeded both to capture the spirit of the original Predator and and give the movie oh and yeah, and give the movie its own identity. Praised Amber Mindhunter's performance and found her character to be an an antagonist version of Ellen Ripley, the protagonist of the Alien film series, while complementing the visual effects and action sequences. Thoughts. Now to my thoughts on Prey. Okay, this movie was surprisingly great. Now, I had not much hope for this movie, but call me shocked. This movie was great, and a great time. All the actors and actresses did a phenomenal job, same with the rest of the crew, and I think that the Predator, and I think that the Predator, uh, oh, the Predator. Prey, did I put the Predator, oh, damn it. Uh, Prey, uh, sorry, the Predator, yeah, the Predator. Uh, and this movie was awesome. I think that the movie's runtime was really quick, and yeah, the movie was just a fun time to watch, and such an interesting movie as well. Bad and disappointing. Okay, this movie does have a little amount of problems for me. Now, uh, with the quick runtime, I think it could have been a bit lengthened, not by much, uh, but I just wanted to spread the story out and the action out a wee bit longer for me. I think some of the plot could have worked on a wee bit, uh, in this movie, and I would have liked to see more Predator, uh, Predator. I know we did get him a good amount, but I just love this character. Final thoughts. Okay, this movie was great. I just had a blast with this movie, and I think that this movie does have its issues for me, unfortunately, but it was just a blast to watch, and I had so much fun watching it, this movie. I think this movie will not be for everyone, uh, but for me, it worked really good, well, really well, and it was just a blast to watch. But if you like Predator movies, definitely check it out. And I also forgot to praise uh, Amber Mindhunter's performance. Uh, she was phenomenal. When I did say actors and actresses. But her line. Oh my god. She was really good. Like, she was really good. Like, oh, so good. Anyway, score for this movie. A 4 out of 5 stars. Percentage 83%. Grade B- an out of 10. An 8.3 out of 10. Thanks for watching my review for Prey. Um. Stay tuned to more videos, hopefully today. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching. Videos will be on the screen right there. Down below is my podcast. Please listen to it. Be a massive help. Thanks for watching. Take care. Peace.